Hello everyone, today we're back for some more Civ 6 news because today Japan was announced for Civ 6 and their leader is uh, Tojo Kimane, which I guess that is nice to see someone that's not Oda Nobunaga or Tokugawa Ishu or those people that I feel are constantly reused in Civ, even though I'm not actually sure if they were or not. But anyways, uh, for Japan's ability, they have the Meiji Restoration, which means that when their districts are built next to each other, they gain bonuses. So as you can see in the screenshot above, the Holy Site District is placed next to a mountain, so it's getting plus three faith from that. But also, since it is placed next to two adjacent districts, it is getting an additional plus three faith. So that should be a nice way to make Japan have compact cities and maybe settle in some tougher terrain. Also to be noted, uh, if you look in the bottom right, it says housing spaces at 10 of 4, and the city is conveniently sized 10, so it would appear that my theory from last video that housing space just deals with the population of the city is correct. The only thing is that, obviously, they are exceeding the limit of the housing space because there are 10 out of 4, so I'm not sure if there's going to be a penalty for that or not, but that's still yet to be seen. For Japan's other ability, their land units gain a bonus while fighting on the coast. I think I just said bonus. And uh, naval units also gain a bonus while fighting in shallow water, so if your plan is Japan, you pretty much just want to stick to the coast. Uh, for their unique unit, they have the Samurai, which pretty much just gains Japan's unique ability from Civ 5, in that no matter how low their health gets, they have the same combat strength, so they're not going to be weaker if they get beat up a little bit. Also to be noted in this screenshot down in the bottom right, uh, I feel as though there's a lot of things that we find down in the bottom right, you can see that there is a bonus for flanking, so it's nice that this is displayed. I'm pretty sure flanking was a thing in Civ 5, but I actually don't know. Um, I, I may have done it a few times, but just never knew how, but it is nice that they actually display strength of uh, flanking now in Civ 6. Uh, for their unique building, Japan has the Electronics Factory, which still takes part in an uh, industrial district, and it just replaces the regular factory, but it provides production and culture, but it also provides not just to the city in which the district is a part of, but also to nearby cities. So that should be nice for keeping everything compact, but also keeping everything really just a powerhouse of production and culture and all that. But unfortunately... That is all we have today in the realm of Civ 6. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, feel free to like. If not, feel free to dislike. If you're looking for more, feel free to subscribe. I've been the Saxy Gamer. Thank you and goodbye.